What do you know of the case? Only that Holmes died following an altercation with a retired teacher? <laughs> <laughs> Professor Moriarty was the Napoleon of crime. <laughs> Delusions of grandeur there. It was the end of April three years ago. Holmes had set a trap for Moriarty, which required the two of us to go to the continent. Upon our arrival, Holmes found a telegram from the Scotland Yard inspector with whom he'd been working. Well, Moriarty's gang had been arrested. The professor had miraculously eluded capture. So we set off again, passing close to the falls of Reichenbach. It was a fearful place. Torrent, tremendous chasm lined by a sheer glistening rock. Suddenly a lad came running down the path with a letter from the hotel we'd left that morning. An English lady was desperate to see a doctor. As I left, I saw Holmes, his back against a rock, just gazing down into the water. At the hotel, I found no English lady. She was a fiction. I raced back to the falls, but Holmes was gone. <laughs> 